What's packing, party people? It's your boy, God Child. First up, his name, host of the What's Packing Sports Show. Welcome back. We got another episode for you today, and we're going to be talking about the 2021 season. I got it right here, people. Four more sleeps, people, and four more sleeps. The Green Bay Packers will be taking on the New Orleans Saints. And look, we got a lot to talk about that game as well. We're going to do the preview. We're going to talk about some picks and all that shit. But before I get into that, and that's going to be another video coming out very soon, coming out tomorrow. Uh, I want to talk about the quarterbacks the Packers are going to be facing this year and the, and the quarterbacks that scare me the most, okay? It's not even Halloween yet. It's around the corner. But I'm talking about some scary shit right now, man. The quarterbacks that scare me the most, man, let's unpack it. San Francisco in week three, man. Look, Packers haven't done well in San Francisco the past couple of years, and that was with a variety of quarterbacks. Last time we got our ass kicked, it was Jimmy Garoppolo. Before then, it was Colin Kaepernick running for a still playoff record, 171 yards against the Packers in the conference champ in the what was that the divisional round? So, I mean, the Packers for my tenure as a fan have not done well against scrambling quarterbacks. And I'm telling you what, from what I know that this offense can be, I think Trey Young is going to be a a problem for the Packers in this offense in, in this Shanahan offense, but. Let me just run them all down first. Okay, Trey, Trey Lance. I said Trey Young. I'm going to say Trey Lance week three. Okay, then Justin Fields week six and week 14. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Wait up, God child. We don't know if we're going to be facing Justin Fields. They said that Fields was the backup and Dalton was a starter, and I'm calling malarkey. I'm calling malarkey on that. I don't believe that for one second. Now, okay, Fields might not start the week one. But by the time week six comes around, I'll be willing to bet a gentleman's bet of a dollar that <laughs> that Fields will be starting week six. So I'm putting him on there. And if he's not week six, he damn sure better be starting by week 14. Because if he's not starting by week six, then I would fire Nagy. Tyler? Or is it... Ky what that nigga name? Kyler Murray. I called him Tyler. Hold on. Is it Kyler? I think it's Kyler Murray, right? K1. Yeah, Kyler Murray. Uh, week eight. Then we got Russell... Dangerous, let him cook Wilson week 10. Lamar, I'm trying to get paid Jackson in his fourth year, or is it his fifth year? No, it's his fourth year, man. It's his fourth year, bro. So, you, I mean, you got that fifth year option, but I mean, we just seen Mahomes and Allen get paid. Lamar's next. And then uh, week nine, I did skip over week nine. We got Patrick Mahomes. So, look, now I'm going to rank these quarterbacks to me. From top to bottom, as far as who scares me the most and out the gate, I'm going to just say right now, not based on what he did last year or not based on anything, but just how I think that this team can attack the Packers. I'm going to put Lamar Jackson, honestly, bam, bong, bing, at number one on this list because I think that Lamar Jackson is just one of those kind of players that can do something that nobody else in the NFL can do. They proved it in his 2019 season uh, when he won the MVP. He rushed, he rushed for over 1,200 yards, and, I mean, the dude was just incredible. So I've seen this. I've seen quarterbacks like Lamar Jackson just cause all kinds of fits for the Packers, and we know that the Packers, one thing that they have to prove is that they can stop the run, and I, I expect them to be able to do it this year, especially how big T – uh, to Daryl Slayton been looking in the middle in, uh, in preseason, and I expect him to be uh, an added a force to this team. But I'm going uh, Lamar Jackson, number one, man. And, and I, and I want to see how the Packers attack Lamar Jackson. Number two, if anybody can do anything close to what Lamar Jackson does, it would probably have to be Kyler Murray. And that's why he's number two on this list. And I think he's a much more dangerous passer. So as a matter of fact, I'm going to call an audible New York Bozo. New York Bozo. Lamar Jackson is number two. Kyler Murray is number one because Kyler Murray is a much more developed passer. And I actually think that Murray, while he doesn't have the stature, he's not as tall as, as, uh, as Jackson. And I don't know if he has the same flat out speed of Jackson. I do think that Murray has a lot more wiggle. Murray is a lot more like Vic 
than 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 Jackson is. And I think he's more wiggle. He has more wiggle. He's because he's smaller. He's kind of harder to get your hands on and kind of be able to like box him in. And he's a much better passer. So I'm gonna go. And he has better options, better weapons. So I'm going Kyler Murray one. I'm gonna go Lamar Jackson two. And then number three, I'm honestly like. I mean, this may sound crazy, but then I'm going to put Patrick Mahomes in number three because, I mean, I'm, it's Patrick fucking Mahomes, people, okay? Like, the fact that I didn't put him number one, some people might be thinking, you're crazy, guy, child. I'm going to put Patrick Mahomes three because he's just probably the best quarterback in the NFL right now. I'm gonna put, But I'm going to put him at three. He's not the number one threat on this list, but he might be, probably should be the number one quarterback in the NFL. And then number four, just because I think the team is going to be a better team, and the scheme is better. I'm going Trey Lance. Now, we've already, they're already calling it Trey Area. They already hyping it up. And I've been trying to tell people for the last couple of years, this Shanahan offense um, is, is designed to help young quarterbacks flourish early. It's designed to take advantage of their skills as a runner and a passer. And it's designed to really take the pressure off of them. So I think, while Trey Lance and Garoppolo are kind of going to be splitting some time, I do think it's going to become the Trey Lance show eventually. And he's going to just um, have an opportunity to look like what Robert Griffin III looked like in his rookie campaign. If you ha- if you don't remember, do yourself a favor. Go back and watch some of those Washington uh, highlights when Robert Griffin III was in his rookie season. I think it was 2013. And tell me if you don't think Trey Lance can do better. Number five, I'm going to go with Justin Fields only because now if Justin Fields had went to San Francisco, I would probably move San Francisco. Maybe they might be, I mean, Justin Fields might be probably, fuck, he might be over Mahomes, honestly. But I think Justin Fields right here is actually by the, nope, sorry, because we got Russell Wilson right here. I got to put Russell Danger Russ Wilson um, right here at number five because, I mean, he's done it to us before. Now, in recent matchups, nah, we've had the, the Seahawks number, but I'm just saying, I still think Russell Wilson is the most underrated quarterback of my generation. And I think the dude has just kind of had a bad rap kind of early on um, as a guy who just, I don't know, was getting carried by the defense. And he certainly was, but that don't mean that he wasn't able to do great things. And we've seen him do some Houdini-like shit and there's been some, it's been kind of even. They had us more in the beginning. But then we've been kind of getting them back in the end. But I'm still thinking that Russell Wilson is a is a bad man and he's dangerous. And then that puts Justin Field at number six. So there it is, man. There's my list. Fields at number six. And the reason why I put him at six is because I just don't know if I trust Nagy. I do think Fields is going to be one of the guys who, like, are, go- are, are people going to look back and say, like, damn, why didn't he go higher? You know what I'm saying? If he can get the right coaching staff around him. Will it be Nagy? I don't know. But just on raw talent and what I've seen from him at Ohio State, I really think and – the, and the Bears kind of have some weapons. So I, I think that he is going to be a problem in the NFC North for years to come. So there's the list, folks. Kyler Murray, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, Trey Lance, Russell Wilson, Justin Fields. I want to know what you guys think in the comment below. Let me know what you think. Do I have my list right? Am I crazy? Who are your biggest, scariest quarterbacks the Packers are facing this year? And they don't have to be big because Kyler Murray is small. But they have big game and they give you a lot to worry about. They give you big anxiety. So, I mean, I just want to know what you guys think down below. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscription button for me, please. And hit the thumbs up, man. Even if you don't like the video, shit, hit the thumbs down. Engagement is important. And lastly, subscription, thumbs up, comment. Hit that notification bell, man. Until the next show, as always, go pack, go. And remember, the Bears still suck.